My name is Leona, um, and I have uh, nearly floor length hair. I am on a website on the internet, of course, um, that um, features my long hair and other ladies, and we cater to people who have a genuine love for long hair. I was first contacted by Mika, I believe, in 2006 when she did Chasing Waterfalls. And um, I didn't believe her email at first. I was kind of skeptical. And um, she proved that she was real. So I flew up to Buffalo and um, we worked on that project and then on Cheese later on in the summer. And um, it was an extraordinary experience. I love her and I love her mindset and her conception of everything and how she thinks about the hair as an extension of the body. It's just amazing. I couldn't wait to see the outcome of what her mind was doing. Um, back in 94, I was 27. My children were, my youngest child was 12. Um, so I was past the point where most women, you know, would cut their hair. I was ready to start growing mine. I always wanted long hair, but, you know, being a young mom, I waited until I felt yeah, I had the patience to grow it. And I just decided one day, I'm not going to cut it again. I'm not going to put a permanent in it. And I started growing it. Initially, it was just to get it to my waist. But as time went on, it just kept getting longer and longer. And in 2003, I, there was a website called The Long Hair Site where like-minded people, you know, would share their photos and you know, ladies would talk about hair care and things like that. And I posted my pictures and my hair was to my knees. And I was contacted by a gentleman to um, pose as a model on his um, website for long hair. And I was with him about a year and a half. And in 2005 is when I started Long Hair Divas. Okay. I, the first site was a non-adult site. And what you see on Long Hair Divas is my true personality, mm -hmm. you know, how I like to, how I am in my real life, personally, you know, and I just felt I wanted to have more expression rather than to be stifled in the way he was running his. So I just decided to start my own. It can be empowering because people just, they, it seems like they're in awe that hair can grow this long and the gentlemen, they like to be um, pampered by it, with it. Um, most of the people just have a genuine appreciation and love for it, for the beauty of it, how it um, makes a woman look more womanly or um, more virile mm -hmm. to a man. Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, women dote over their hair all the time. You know, it's the first thing most people see about you. So it, it's just like the wrapping on the package. Mm -hmm. and I think if a woman feels like her hair is pretty, that she feels better about herself. And um, 
it, 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 the long hair shows health, commitment, patience, and um, dedication. Mm -hmm. And I think any of those attributes would make a woman more attractive to anyone who could understand, you know, the commitment she's making to herself. Um, I can see both sides of that. Um, independence that comes with the feminism, and I like that, and I have lived like that, you know, years ago. But I also am on the other side where I like to be, you know, loved by a man and I love for you know my man to do things for me you know I like to be treated very nice open door you know have doors open for me mm -hmm. flowers brought home type of thing but the the actual ideals of feminism I wasn't really brought up with that type of um knowledge around me. Mm -hmm. It's brought up um, that the women cater to the men, mostly, you know. And I, I do that to myself, you know. I love my husband and I love taking care of him and vice versa, but I do like the independence ideals of feminism and how it does empower women to be their own person. Mm -hmm. that you know, you don't need anyone else but yourself to be happy in this world. Because you only make yourself happy. It was just amazing the, the set that Mika had built with her own two hands. I was just floored. I could not believe that this little woman did all that. You know, it was in Florida in August very hot, steamy, muggy, and we had been working for several days outside all day, and some of us needed to shampoo our hair, and none of us blow dry it, it just has to air dry naturally, and we all got into this big tiff about it because we needed so much time off, and Mika was like, no, 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 we don't have time to have time off. So those are the type of changes that normal people without hair like this can't really understand, I think, you know, so when it's wet, it's about five pounds heavy, and you have to kind of sit around and fluff it around till it dries. <laughs> she captured so many different aspects of the hair and, and how the body can seem to um, command the hair to do things, and how she portrayed hair as the true extension of the body and you know like we when we were whipping the hair calling the goats um they really came to us you know it, they didn't have to make them i mean it really happened and it was i just can't imagine how she sat and thought of all that and knew which one of us to use to make certain statements in the film. It was, it was fun. <laughs>